What is up, Clever Cube family? Hello, happy Friday evening to you. It's very good to see you. Thank you for joining. If you're new here, hi, my name is Damien. I'm a voice actor, Twitch streamer. You may also know me from the YouTube channel, Smosh. Um, I usually stream Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Uh, it's been a little bit tough keeping the schedule this year, but um, usually for good stuff. Um, <laughs> on Thursday, I, uh, I had to film something with a company that's going to be super fun. But I also, I stayed up late filming it, had to wake up the next morning to edit. And then I edited for most of the day where I was not at the event. So bottom line is I was functioning on very little sleep. Um, and then same thing with Tuesday, post COVID, my uh, fatigue has been real strong. So uh, getting back to it here and there, but we're gonna make it up with a Friday evening added stream. A tomorrow stream, I'm gonna do a signing with Streamly also here during the afternoon, 12.30 p.m. I pushed it by a half hour. And then Sunday normal stream time. Um, initial reality says, but you're well rested now, right? <laughs> I don't wanna sound like a, a bummer boy, but I had a uh, food poisoning last night. So I spent a good chunk of the evening worshiping the porcelain throne as they call it, which I realized like, as an adult, now that I don't have stomach issues anymore, sorry, this is a little gross, but like, I, I'm, I feel very fortunate. I don't throw up anymore. I feel like it's been years. And then last night I was like, I don't remember doing this very much lately. How lucky am I, blip? So I still did it, but it just felt lucky to not have had to worry about it for a while. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm feeling better today. I had some yogurt and all that good stuff. So yeah, I'm doing fine, doing great. Um, Hey, we do have some people drop in sub bombs. Thank you very much for that. Appreciate that, y'all. If you are new here, I do read out uh, sub bombs. I read out new subscribers as they subscribe, resubscribers all at the end in one fell swoop, and tips with messages attached. Um, while those things are very much appreciated and very, very sweet, and they're, they help support me, um, they are not expected. You can hang out here for free as much as you like. Um, please don't ever feel obligated to do it, especially if you are a youngin' or if times are tough. Just make sure you take care of yourself first. But thank you very much. To our first sub bomb of the day, uh, Kira Delaney dropping two flipping gift subs. Thank you. Gifting to Anton, or maybe Anton C, and then uh, Zeal Cannon. Appreciate you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then Mr. Koopa is dropping five. Thank you very much, Mr. Koopa. Gifting to Mari with a bunch of numbers, Zinderane, uh, Vincent Black, Jason W, and then Bad Spike N7. Thank you very, very much, Mr. Koopa. Um, I haven't posted about it yet, but uh, hashtag free product, hashtag free event or something like that. Um, Nintendo invited me out to go to uh, Universal Studios Nintendo World uh, yesterday, and that was super fun. So that was lovely. Um, so Mr. Koopa, I saw a couple other Koopas. I don't know if any of them was uh, you, but if they were, uh, good to see you again. Um, so it was really fun. I'll do like an Instagram post tomorrow or something. Um, and thank you for the 100 bits, Mr. Koopa. We also got Demo Nacho. Dropping three flipping gift subs. Let's go. Thank you very much, Demo Nacho. Gifting to uh, Faix, Dia, Dia on Fire, and then Avatar Idalia, or maybe El Dahlia, Avatar El Dahlia. In, in the year of 20 and 24, how can we not differentiate between a capital I and an L in the most common flipping uh, texts? It's not your fault, Avatar you. Um, <laughs> just saying in general, like, hey, tech companies, uh, how about instead of making my car drive itself and me being able to yell at a sphere to turn lights on and off, why don't we change up text? Um, thank you very much. Um, big font doesn't want you to know. That's true. Yeah, you know what? Everything is run by big font. It's all one big front. Mm, and the, that makes you question who we are. And that's how actual conspiracy theories work. They just say stuff like that and you're like, Pretty cool, that's pretty true. Um, I appreciate it very much, thank you. Um, oh, I also didn't tweet out that I'm streaming. I'm doing a thing now where I'm like just starting stream as opposed to being like, hey guys, I'm 46 minutes probably, but I have to eat food first and then shower, but I'll see you in 46 minutes. I'm just gonna be like, I'm live, here I go. Um, uh, it's on right now, which is way better than being dead on stream. There we go. Okay, there we go. Battling a dragon in game or for real? Who can say? This is the worst tweet I've ever made. It's not elegant at all, but there we go. 
Um, <laughs> yes, I did say dead on stream. I said I'm live on stream, which is way better than dead on stream. It's the same thing where someone's like, okay, who would you want to have? Okay, if you could have dinner with anyone in the world, living or dead, I always go living. Because dinner with a dead person would probably be at the very least stinky. Anyway, uh, Katja Rose, thank you for dropping five flipping gift subs. Appreciate you a lot. Uh, Katja Rose, uh, thank you for gifting to Callie is me, Jelly Fishy, Cast Games, Apollo Beat, and then Netizen. I greatly appreciate you a lot. Thank you. As someone who has equally as many A's next to each other as I do in my name. Thank you. Appreciate you a lot. Prof Ben, drop in five flipping gift subs. Prof Ben, I'm going to send out your signed things uh, at the same time as this Streamly event thing tomorrow when I get that sent out. Um, thank you so much, Prof Ben, for dropping five flipping gift subs and lovely to see you. Um, friend from work kid, thank you very much for your sweet words. Given the video game strike, I, I can't personally talk about that right now, but I do appreciate you and your nice words, and I'm glad you're enjoying it. Thank you, thank you. Prof Ben is giving you Diva Cosplay, uh, Pharaoh DG, uh, the, no, maybe it's the Raj, like short for Rogers, like the Raj. Um, Pow Gaming, uh, Spiky RP, and then Grungy. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Oodles of several of much. Uh, for anyone who's new here, for, again, thank you for the sub bombs. For anyone who's new here, uh, I'm going to be continuing on an Elden Ring. It will not be uh, as long as a normal stream. I usually go like two and a half hours. I'm aiming for maybe two tonight. Because, uh, again, I did stay up a lot of the evening with food poisoning. Um, it's just been a very low sleep week. Uh, that being said, I tried. I tried. I actually went to bed early last night. And at like 1 a.m., I was like, huh, I feel kind of restless. I think I'm sick yeah and then i just walked to the bathroom and it was a sorry yeah i'm gonna not get into details but yeah you guys know food poisoning that you've met um mr koopa thank you for 200 more flipping bits zombell thank you for 100 bits good to see you i feel like it's been a minute zanny zanny thank you for the bits leah bug thank you for a thousand flipping bits leah bug i appreciate you several oodles of much that is very nice of you um taro tubers gifting to m dos 65 thank you very much uh, Phantasmagoria Grey is going to do Cello Girl. Thank you very much, Phantasmagoria Grey. Cello Girl! I think, I think if we're going to bring, if we're going to keep, like, very demure, very mindful as part of the, the modern vernacular influenced by memes, I think we have to bring back the, here comes the boy! Hello, boy! I miss that one. I miss that TikTok sound. I know it's, like, three years old or more. I can pretty much vote, but still... Um, Phantasmagoria Grey, thank you for that. Prof Ben, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you, thank you. And then, ah, oh, we've got Anonymous, whoever you may be, unless you just joined Twitch early enough to get that name. Drop in five flipping gift subs. Let's go. Thank you very much. Anonymous is gifted to Brokenzi, Element with a bunch of numbers, Jujux, uh, Chris Noodles, and then Rindex. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. It was very kind of you. Uh, Sobble at Heart says, very mindful. Here's the thing, Sobble at Heart. And everybody, you know, I'm not just being that. And you guys should hear this too. I think the very demure, very mindful is fun, but it's going to have a staggered effect of people knowing the meme and getting on board with it. And it's going to have a very quick, like, decay rate. Like, I feel like a lot of us have heard the very demure, very mindful. And it started about a week and a half ago, maybe, that it started picking up steam. And, like, already I'm like, I'm almost done like i'm almost all set on hearing it again ever and i think people are still going to be discovering it like two or three weeks from now and be like very demure very mindful and then i'm a jerk when i'm just like oh i think i would like to never hear it again please so you know it's gonna it's gonna be a rapid one i'm calling it now um let's see here lizette reed dropping 10 flipping gift subs let's go thank you very much Appreciate you a lot. Uh, gifting to Lexronomicon, seriously, Pokemon Trainer Dill, Big Sports Crowley, King Yom, Addy Mids, Addy MDs, um, Hyeth Straits, no, Hyreth Straits, The Arson Bee, Stormer, and then Steven with a bunch of numbers. I appreciate you a lot. Thank you. For anyone who's new here, I do uh, other things too. Uh, <laughs> we're going to play games in a minute here, but people are being bonkers generous, which is very nice. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, we're going to continue on in Elden Ring. My goal is to take down the dragon Bale, which if you need to know the meme source of another popular TikTok sound, there we go. Um, all right. December fall. Dropping 10 flipping gift subs as well. Thank you very much. 
Appreciate you a lot. Gifting to um, I, Tyler, or maybe it's L, Tyler. I've already gone on my diatribe about this. Um, Samsonite, Ehaw, Batman, uh, Ebony Azure, Justin to Mitch, um, Sammy Shorts, Just Dunny, Merjam with a J, <laughs> uh, Sydney Wolf, and then Toku 3D. Thank you very much. I'm not reading particularly well today. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Um, Okay, and then we got needles, needless, <laughs> it's needless, <laughs> needless Cupid with 120 bits, needles Cupid would actually be terrifying, uh, little Laura G with 100 bits, thank you both very much, and then E.E. E. E. Cunningham gifting to Danzi123, thank you, thank you, thank you very much, I appreciate you a lot. Alrighty, y'all, so yeah, we're gonna be playing some Elden Ring tonight, I haven't played since last I played with y'all, um, I've been truly faithful with Elden Ringery. Uh, I just haven't had the, the spoons, the energy to play no video games at all. But like I said, I did get to go to Nintendo World Town. Um, did it say Needless? Was I wrong? Hold on. Did that not even say Cupid? Where'd it go? I can't even see it now. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna... I can't even see... Where did it go? <laughs> oh, no, it says Cupid. Okay, it said Cupid. Whoo! I was like, sorry, someone in the chat wrote, uh, lol, needless Cuban, and I'm like, did I really read that wrong, that wrong, that quickly into a stream? Um, yeah, man's just struggling tonight. I really am, Florian, I really am. Um, but I've canceled streams too many times this week, and I just feel like it would be fun tonight to do, so I'm gonna, and so we are. Uh, did you meet Toad? I did not, uh, Kira Obo. Uh, but... I did get to meet one of the characters, and I won't say who, but I got some photos, and it was pretty cool, and it was really exciting. Um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we got Tuatha dropping five flipping gift subs as well. Thank you very much, Tuatha. Gifting to Mrs. Chen CK, uh, Spiral, Cali X Star, Zolful, or maybe Scythal, I don't know. Emerin and Chance, and then a really angry dad. Thank you very much. Appreciate you a lot. Um, was it as super as everyone says it is? Yeah, I mean, it was great. I, I have a hard time being in direct sunlight, um, on account of the everything about me. Um, but, uh, I had a wonderful time. It just meant my shelf life there was a little bit shorter than I would have liked, but, um, I had a great time. I really did. So, uh, thank you again, Nintendo. Uh, and I will, I will share that later in terms of photos and stuff. Um, SPF 100. Yes, I was using quite a bit of sunscreen and reapplied a bunch. It didn't fully matter. I'm, I'm a little rosy today, but that's okay. Y'all, this hype train was, went to a level five today. Thank you so much for that. That is bonkers generous. Again, as I always say, you don't have to do those things. It's very sweet that you have, so thank you. Um, Tuatha, thank you again for that. Uh, Ember Topaz with 100 bits, thank you. Amateur Nail Art with some bits, thank you very much. Yoko Ayumi with a thousand bits, thank you very much. Ah, oh, y'all are lovely and I appreciate that a lot. Um, uh, good to see you back with a smile. Try not to push yourself too hard while still recovering. Yeah, it's hard being patient recovering from COVID stuff, but like I've been negative for almost two weeks now and it's still, it feels like I've been patient and maybe I haven't been, I don't know. But yeah, still doing the best I can. Also y'all, um, streamily signing tomorrow, like I said, uh, that's going to be at 12.30 p.m. my time, which is Pacific time. I'm going to stream Sunday normal time. And then the week after that, the weekend after that, rather, that's going to be the uh, 31st of August and the 1st of September. Wow. Um, Anime Impulse OC. Uh, if you're in the OC area, please feel free to come down and say hey. I'll be doing signing stuff, but also you can also just say hey. That's also great and fun and cool. Um, so thank you very much, y'all. I appreciate you a lot. All righty. Let's hop into the game here. I do see some tips have rolled in. I greatly appreciate it, but I'll I'll read them out as we go here. I've had long COVID syndrome for a few years, so I totally get the fatigue. Do be patient. I wish you so much health. Thank you, Grace HC. I don't know when it. Um, first of all, I'm sorry to hear that you you know you're dealing with long COVID. That super sucks. I don't know when the official crossover into long COVID is a thing, but I I, I think I'm pretty far from that. Um, I would just say you know. I'm just recovering. So anyway. Uh, oh, Oddly Awkward, that's very sweet. Thank you very much. Come on down and say hey. Come on down and say hey. 
Um, all right, let's see here. Uh, if you were to guess, Damien, how long will the Streamly signing be tomorrow, just out of curiosity? I don't know. That's a great question, Phoebe. I First of all, I have a camera for my hands this time, so you can actually see me signing. You can see me do the thing. Um, let's see here. Let's see. I have currently 40 things to sign, and I usually talk a lot, and I take my sweet time. So realistically, hour and a half, two hours, and, and more usually come through while I'm signing, which is great, too. So I, I would guess two hours at minimum. That's my guess. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, all righty. Let's see here. Oh, and we got a couple people subscribing on their own. I'm going to read that out real quick, too, before we hop into the game. Um, everybody, please give a spicy Clever Coop welcome to Gamer Dojo TV, Little Laura G, and The Friend from Work Kid. Hey, thank you very much, y'all. I appreciate you joining. Uh, dip, 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 dip. Let me, sorry, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah. Um, question for y'all. Armored Core. Um, obviously, I love Soulsborne games. I haven't played Armored Core yet. I think I want to. I think I want to. I love Soulsborne. I love FromSoft. But mechs aren't always my thing. Like giant Gundam style robots aren't always my thing. Will I love it? Will I love it and enjoy it very much? I'm just curious. I'm just curious. You see, you see I'm merely curious. All right. Have you played Code Vein? Yes, I have. I have. Any Wukong fans here? The, uh, uh, well, <sighs> that's the thing too. I also really wanted to play um uh black myth wukong but uh you know there is some some social elements that make that difficult uh i don't have to get it too into the details right now because it might bump some people out but yeah as a streamer i don't know if i fully want to hop on into that um let's see here have you always had the beanie damien i just noticed it am i that so i mean I've, I've had it all tonight the for the whole stream so far tonight yeah social elements as initial reality yeah the creators have some pretty problematic opinions that i don't really support and like look people have opinions but there are certain ones that i'm like ah, i don't want to i'm not supporting that um and they they made it specifically about streaming like sometimes you can ignore things but they were like yeah if you're gonna stream it don't say any weird feminist stuff don't say any weird feminist stuff about wi about women don't even don't like feminism and i'm just like oh, well i guess i'm not gonna stream your game then it's not like i'm gonna be saying stuff the entire time but like i'm a feminist i believe in equality of for all genders and i'm just like I, yeah it's just it's just like why would you but i've also heard people say it's to comply with the, specifically the chinese government which they are beholden to so i was like i guess if you're beholden to your government and you have to say that but it also doesn't seem like, oh, you're being forced to say that it, it's at least again, I'm not a native Chinese speaker, so I don't know. But from what I've seen from translations, it's been like, woohoo, let's express this opinion as opposed to like, and we have to put this in the fine print. You know what I mean? So it's like, I think I'm going to I think I'm going to shy away from that one, unfortunately. Um, Yeah. Kasai Okami asking a great question. How does it feel to have transitioned from YouTube to voice acting? So this is a funny thing, Kasai Okami, because I did it the other way around first. Uh, a lot of people who know me from Smosh don't know this, but I've been voice acting about 13 years, 14 years now. Um, and there were times when I did it and it fully paid the bills. And there were times where it was like really low and bookings were low and that's how it goes. Um, and six or seven, maybe six years into that, that's when I started working with Smosh. So uh, I've always done voice acting in the meantime, and just it's now that a lot of projects are coming out at the same time. Anime tends to move faster than video games. So now that I'm working on anime more, you see it more readily than maybe video games I had worked on or am working on and have been for a while. So I think that's why a lot of people are now just like, oh, you're doing the voice acting thing now. You swapped. And it's like, well, I, I've kind of been balancing it forever. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's me. Um, but great question thanks for asking all right let's hop on into the game uh before i do real quick we've got a little uh, uh stream tradition around here called uh the question of the day and the question of the day today is <sighs> who 
do we have in the chat today? We got Lobella, Amateur Nail Art. We got Chris Salmon, Smoky Flower, Sleepy Little Rider, Kaalia, Angelicat, Brika Leg. We got Immortal Dakota, Yoko Ayumi, I Am Radical, Elias. We got Barry, uh, Kira Delaney, Libby Moore, 99, Anu, An and uh, ooh, ooh, 99 sorry i screwed that up real bad uh, shibuki alarm fans michelle miller virtual boy scout we got julia grace skeletor squeak squeak and savvy marie small town singer one miles per hour leah bug elizabeth b randomly generated ethan's icor we got zombell troubled uh charlie alterio we got deceived cashew Sh we got uh b -b -b midnight vixen fox amiana kc madame trash Eve, itsy's code orvin of gwen shadow fang noah cola angel princess we got sparksley excuse me december fall Excuse me, Lilith, Momad Zay with a bunch, uh, good to see you. Uh, Riven Rosewar, the Immortal Dakota, Alyssa with a bunch of numbers, Mandy Girl with a bunch of numbers, Stay Frosty Nina, uh, we got, uh, uh, Ride the Bread, uh, we got OG Ismoji, OG Ismoji maybe. Um, uh, Kasai Okami, what is up to the Duck is Lord, Sarah loves five seconds of summer, one direction, Rachel the Llama Corn, Lemony Drew, Lizette Reed, Solar Flare, uh, we got, uh, uh, uh Izzily Moon, the Quiet Queer, Phantasmagoria Gray, writing is hard, two minute accounts. That's right, folks. There are too many people here for science to count. Science doesn't even have that many numbers, but I'll tell you what, if I didn't say hi to you right off the bat, I'm sure I'll see you at some point during the stream. So either hang out and lurk, hang out and chat, hang out and use me as background noise for that thing that you promised you'd get done. And it's already Friday evening. All that I ask is that you please just keep those very extremely basic rules that we have here because it's stuff like don't spoil the game, don't spam, be respectful. Um, but our mods are here. Shout out mods. What's up mods? Uh, we got Wayward Jaybird. We got Randomly Generated. Um, we love our mods. They work very hard, but they volunteer to be here. They don't have to be here at all. And look at them. They are. So let's not make their jobs particularly more difficult than they could be. All right. Let's hop on into this here video game. Goodness gracious. Oh man, the game is initializing. I always feel so silly when I hit like load up. And I'm just like waiting here and I'm like, yep, it's gonna, the game's gonna load up soon. And I'm not, I'm not showing it to you yet because the first thing that they show in game is a huge white screen and I don't want to like throw a flashbang at the gosh dang audience. All right, here we go. And the white screen is gone. That's how long it takes y'all. It's how long it flipping takes here. Isn't that flopping crazy? It's flip flopping crazy. All right. So if you are not familiar with Elden Ring, well, don't you worry. Uh, settle into that pond, you silly goose, because we'll get you caught up lickety split, um, both on story and basic vibe of the game and what I'm trying to do here. Um, but we're going to be fighting a boss today that is very much rooted in memery. Um, there's a really good voice actor who has a line specifically about this boss while you fight the boss, and it's just become a, a TikTok sound, and I love that. Um, so, Elden Ring. Let's get you caught up lickety split. Elden Ring like oh i forgot that we went here oh that's right we're i was on a little like mini side mission well whatever um i'm gonna continue that right now and then we'll fight the boss uh basically elden ring is like many other souls games um like demon souls dark souls sekiro bloodborne etc where it's made to be very very difficult uh you always have to take down some kind of enemy that is in the realm of gods or is godlike or is corrupted and powerful or whatever and you sort of get to reform the world into your vision. Um, the main thing is, if you die, you lose all the experience you collected. You've got one chance to pick it up. If you uh, die before that happens, uh, you lose that forever. So there are some stakes. There's some high stakes here. Let me see, uh, Elden Ring Memory Stones. This is what we're trying to get. So I realized through playing the DLC uh, that on this character, I have very little slots to uh, use spells. And I'm like, why is that? Why do I have almost no spells? Because I didn't get any memory stones, silly me. All aboard the silly goose train now. Um, so there are some spots that I need to probably uh, do a visit at um, to make that happen. So here's one. Memory stone is here. It is. I'm just gonna grab one of these real quick and then we're gonna continue on with the game proper. Um, it looks like there is one. It's like right about here. So I don't know if I'm able to get to that from this spot. I will try. And if not, I'll go around. But yeah, it's going to be a grand old time. Boopity boop. Okay, so I feel like everybody's on board with what the game is now. Yes, maybe not. We use lanterns so the audience can see. 
and we get to ride our flipping cool pony oh yeah we've also been using a few different weapons this round um one of them is punching one of them is punching and that's a lot of fun okay so i was looking for the converted tower which i'm starting to think is actually so far up there in a way that i might not be able to reach right now we'll see your horse got a name deep ultra that was the most cowboy way you could have said that just like your horse got a name yes its name is torrent we didn't name it though that's an in-game thing because anytime i can name a pony i name it rukando um well completely missed this checkpoint a while back that was probably important way earlier Did you get your tattoo booking? Asks Katya Rose. I did. So my my tattoo artist got back to me. They're like, Damien, I'm super down to continue working on your tattoo. But my first idea, um, they were not. They were like, uh, I'd recommend going about it a different way. And I was like, hmm, okay. And I pitched a couple things at them where I'm like, I'm thinking this. I'm thinking this. I'm thinking this. So the first one, they were like, well, I don't know about that. And so I'm like trying to sit and really think like, hey, am I actually super down to do the other two ideas or were they just backups? Because I feel like I want to, but I don't want to go too, too crazy with tattoos if I'm not fully set, you know? Um, all right, I'm gonna read out our first tip of the day. Um, and our first tip of the day, Comes to us from a river dropping 1111. Thank you very much, River. I think this is the I think this is the tower I'm supposed to be, by the way. And if not, then it could be up there. Um, River, thank you very much for dropping 1111. That's very generous of you, and I appreciate it. Um, saying wishes. Got it. 1111. Make a wish, everyone. I wish this guy would die. There we go. He got karate'd. Oh, who's the deadest karate man I know? Actually, is it y'all? Yeah, it is, actually. There we go. Um, River, thank you very much. Saying, sorry, last stream's Fibonacci tip got confusing. Oh, no, that's okay. It's, you don't have to apologize. It's amazing. And I, this is not to you. It's amazing to me how many people show a lot of kindness and generosity and then immediately are like, I'm sorry about it. I'm like, are you kidding me? You gave me 11 bucks. Thank you very much. That was very nice of you. Um, uh, for me, a Fibonacci day is any day when it is especially important to find and appreciate the patterns of life. Even the chiaroscuro parts. Chiaroscuro, like the shading. I love it. You, you've got a lot of like specific knowledge in a lot of different areas. You're a bit of a renaissance person. And I like that. Uh, Fibonacci dates like November 23rd are extra tasty and beautiful. Well, I appreciate you a lot. That is very kind of you. Thank you for the explanation, though it was not needed to make up for anything. You were already doing a nice thing and I appreciate it. Would you ever play Far Cry 6? I could see myself doing that. I'm not always the biggest gun game person just like stylistically but uh i could i think the the, the difficult thing is um i find myself with less time for streaming than i'd like I, <laughs> your mistake was not stabbing me when you had the chance your mistake was not crushing me when you had the chance sorry i'm gonna focus on uh this guy real quick <laughs> Okay, well, he crushed me when he had the chance. That was his first uh, smart thing that he's done. Ah, crap. Yes. Hey, man. Don't. Hey, man. Stop. Is that a tree? Yes, it is. It is the avatar of the air tree. The air tree is a very, like, if you want to think about, like, Norse mythology, like Yggdrasil, the, like, world tree kind of situation, a very who peeved off the Ents. Uh, this is the March of the Ents, but there's only one plant base. It's a bit of a bummer. Um, it's just the one. Uh, nobody else showed up. He made brownies and everybody was like, yeah, I'll totally be there. And then they texted him like a half hour afterwards. They're like, hey man, something came up. I'm kind of tired. Son of a bastard. That one doesn't count. They put that cliff there in the new update. I didn't know that. It's everyone else's fault. Um, but River, thank you for the sweet uh, words. I appreciate you. For those of you that are new here, I'm really, really good at games. Uh, so don't even, don't even trip. Um, oh yeah, also for those of you that know me from voice acting more than streams, um, I am going to be doing a Streamly signing tomorrow, but that is beyond that. Um, I voice Lyos in Delicious and Dungeons, so as soon as we complete this round of the game, uh, I'm going to be starting a new game plus situation, and I'm going to be making a Lyos character and doing a run in a way that I think serves Lyos as like a warrior and how that would work. So yeah, 
It's going to be based around food. It's going to be based around having a normal sword, using beast claws, using beast incantations. Like if Lyos was in this world, how would he go about it? And that's what I will be doing. So there you go. That's how it's going to work. Um, you look great, Damien. Thank you, Venom. I'm still debating the beard, but because I filmed something Thursday and just got notes on it that I'm going to have to put into place, um, because it's something that I'm, like, editing myself, I am having to, uh, I'm just going to keep it for a little while longer because I'm like, well, I can't shave now. I might have to refilm something. So I'm just going to be extra, extra careful about that. Um, but thank you. I'll take it. I like the beard. It's just a little, it's just a little itchy. It's just a little itchy. Um, but yeah, I'm going back and forth on it. Uh, little Laura G, thank you for the 100 bits. Appreciate you. And Zanny Zanny, thank you for some bits. Appreciate you. All right, so now let's pretend that um, the last round didn't happen. What if, what if I actually gave myself some magic little boosts? Some magic little boosts. Before I did a murder at this man. Imagine falling off a cliff. Could not be me. I'm also reading chat while I battle, so, you know. And also, I'm very overleveled for this part because I'm... This is not the DLC. This is the main game. I dipped back for just a minute. I dipped into these pines. I'm going to make him fall like gravity. Go ahead and use your heaven magic on me. Yeah, right. How long is Elden Ring? It's a pretty long game, honestly. I put far too many hours in it, but uh, that's okay because I love it. Games like it from FromSoft are indeed a hyper fixation for me and I'm a big fan. Okay, this thing done got murdered. That's why I wasn't healing for most of this because I feel very like, I feel guilty because I'm like way over leveled for this area. So I'm like, why would I, why would I do the thing? Why would I, why would I do that? All right, the memory stone, the memory stone. Aye, the memory stone. I remember that stone. Is that a flippin', is there a, okay. We see this tower in front of me. That looks like a flippin' tower or abandoned church way on the horizon there. I have a feeling I'm supposed to be, I should have gotten all of these things. No wonder the DLC has been so flippin' difficult. Good Lord. He's coming right for me. I had to. Um. Michelle Miller, thank you for dropping five living gift subs. I appreciate you. Michelle Miller is gifting to Kester123, Ion, Pizzamon234, Duckman342. Duckman okay, what is with the algorithm for gifting? There has to be something there. Um, FlowMedK and then GummyBear1610. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, and I'm also only wearing the uh, beanie tonight because... Uh, my hair was in my face post shower. It's a little bit frizzy right now. And I was like, screw it. Yes, the converted tower. Try gesture. Wait, which gesture? What are they doing? It's like the opposite of a T pose. What are you doing? What gesture is this? Erudition guide thee. And also with you. God, if I get here and I don't have the gesture that I need, I'm going to be so mad. Obviously, I don't need to bow. May the best win. The ring, fire, spur me, be my sword, O oh mother. Prayer. Grovel for mercy. Oh my god, I don't have it. Oh my god, I don't have it. I quit. I quit. No way, dude. How goofy. That's fine. Screw it. I'm going back to the boss area. Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. Whatever. You look up where to find it. Ah, I don't think it's worth it right now. I kind of just want to go battle the thing that we're supposed to battle. And that's okay. So much to miss in this game. I know. I know it. I know. Do you know where to find it? Nah, but that's okay. We're gonna... I'm gonna go continue on with this, uh... This year DLC. So I was supposed to go dragons there. I'm so, okay, supposed to go up and around these parts. 
foot of Jagged Peak. Yes, that's where we're going. That's where we're going. All righty. Michelle Miller, thank you again for that. Um, we've got I'm Just Joe dropping 10 flipping bucks. I appreciate you. I'm Just Joe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, saying, yay, Friday stream. Yay, touchdown sport. Um, thanks for providing entertainment as I handwrite 2,000 postcards to swing state voters. Have a happy weekend, everyone. That's wild. I'm just Joe. That's Carpal Tunnel right there. That's also commitment, and I respect you. That's wild. Um, that's great. I love that. That's super cool. Have you considered stamps? You can get them made custom for, I think, pretty cheap. You go, poof, and people go, wow, they really took the time to stamp that. They really did that. Either way, but I'm not going to question it. You did a great, that's a cool thing you're doing. Hooray, yay. All right, so this is uh, that 2,000, though. My God. I'm like, literally tomorrow, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to sign like 40 to 50 like things. Sign them and then send them off. That's what I'm going to do. And then <laughs> you're doing 2,000 like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. That's wild. All right, so um, you'd never believe it by the look of it, but uh, we're in a place called Jagged Peak. And at the top of this mountain lives a very mean dragon um that we're gonna have to cause pain um and his name is bane and i didn't mean for any of this to happen i'm so sorry um egon is the name of an npc that has sworn to kill this dragon um however the dragon has uh taken his legs and oh god did he die no i think he's still alive i don't know um but there he is uh he's got no legs or messed up legs and his arms are all messed up too and he's basically like hey i've sworn to kill this dragon you have uh killed a bunch of dragons around me you're the one who can do it so even if you're fighting him and it doesn't matter much summon me so i can have like the last word and i'm just like mm, that's cool and he's got great voice acting uh it's a y2k number yeah indeed this is uh that's one less than the year the matrix came out and he's down a finger oh yeah he is down a finger because he gave us his finger to summon him which is wild oh no he does die Oh no, he's just dead. Like he was literally like, yes, you can do it. This is awesome. He's basically been dragging himself up this map, <laughs> dragging himself up this mountain <laughs> to try to get revenge on this flipping dragon. And I think now that he's like, oh my gosh, you, you can, you can take him down. Like that is, wow. I've got to, I've got to leave a message too. I've got to leave a message too. Let's see, what kind of, what kind of message? I want to say something like, sleep well, old friend. Or like, uh. Ooh. I'm gonna say like, time for rest. Actions. Time for healing? No, that's too specific. Time for concepts. Time for, oh, time for sleep. Oh, wow. That's so sad. There isn't just rest. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna say time for, uh, I wonder if there's a, a better template for that. people so I say friend or warrior warrior yeah let's do warrior oh we're like split on it gonna do time for sleep warrior I'm going to add a, uh, a gesture as well. We're going to do, we're going to do the prayer one. This is the move. This is it. Wait. Oh, there we go. Create this message. Yeah, there you go. So now people will see this time for sleep warrior. We pray for him. Oh, I love that. Ah, oh, that's so cool. He was so proud of being a warrior. I agree. I agree. 
he was very he was very proud also if you want to uh specifically look for messages from this community um capital c capital c o o p for clever coop is one of the group passwords you can make so you can see our stuff outlined a little bit more um i have mine set for number three so if i read a message and it has the number three near it you know it's someone from the coop which is awesome flying pony my flying pony holy crap that pony just flew my little pony i know what i saw you see it all didn't you da, 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 da. all right uh ba, ba, ba. can you tell what other people rate your messages after you leave them uh yes yes actually uh here's some other messages that we have um 22 people rated this good for like champion ahead um therefore offer tranquility um 89 people apparently like that a lot of people oh these are viewed messages oh i haven't written any messages on this character well okay other messages i've written on other characters have been rated positively so that's nice all right so we got to make our way up here and battle a dagron we've got to battle a dagron Oh, also, for those of you that have played this game before, I usually say no backseat gaming, but I do have a question. In terms of, um, I know there's like a dragon form you can get. We already got that, didn't we? I think. Right? Well, we definitely need Egon's finger for this summoning thing. Lamenter's mask into a lamenter. No, yeah, we need the we don't have the dragon form yet. So is that do we Do we flip in Put that one NPC to sleep to get it or do we not put them to sleep and that's how we get it Would you like to know how fully says Barry? Um, I appreciate that I would just like to know whether or not I should make that one NPC fall asleep I think that's my most no sleep. Don't put them. No, uh, not putting it to sleep. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you and I will do that. I will do the not sleep. Appreciate it, y'all. Oops, I, let's see here. Okay, I'm just Joe. Thank you again for the tip and good luck with the postcards. Let's see, gotta make my way. Make my way up mountains. Honk shoe, honk shant. Is the way we're jabbered? That's deeply funny. Um, okay, well clearly I don't go up there. Do I jump down here? Oh, wait. I think this is where that one like mini boss situation is. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not even a mini boss, it's a straight up full on boss. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do it. Uh, what if we imagine dragons as a little dreamer? That's one of my favorite memes where it's like, imagine dragons. Okay, I will. Oh. Wow, this, this is actually pretty sick. Yeah. Um. Wait, uh, Midnight Vixen Fox is dropping six, 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 box, 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 and 69 cents. Nice. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. We're going to summon our hoopla friend. Is he like a cannon ghost, but he's like a SpongeBob hoopla? Sounds like a lot of hoopla. Um, Midnight Vixen Fox, uh, thank you for dropping six, 69. Nice. Uh, saying, hey, Damien, today I broke a tooth. That sucks a million butts. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, lol, it was a black, it was a back molar, and the dentist put a filling in it. It is pretty sore, but they had to numb me twice. Um, I was so numbed up, my dog Freya was super confused when I got home because she couldn't understand me, lol. Okay, well that part's adorable, but everything else about what you said sounds awful, and I'm so sorry. Um, that's definitely one of those things that makes me go, ooh, 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 ooh. So I'm, I'm really sorry to hear that. Please take care of yourself. Tooth stuff is not fun. I always feel like, especially because there is such a, um, there's such like a time limit on it. We're like, you can't be like, ah, I've been putting this off for a month because my tooth fell clean out. It's like, no, you gotta go to the doctor today. Um, that's a huge bummer. So please rest up, feel better. Ugh, not fun, not fun. To be fair, you can't understand your dog either, probably. So, unless you're like a wild thornberry. Is that a cliff? No. Yeah, see dragons suck, but my biggest enemy, cliff. Yeah, I've got some cliffs notes. How about don't fall off of it? Gosh dang it, dude. I didn't give it but he would also take more damage if I were also doing that to him. So, you know, what are you gonna do? Hey, man. Knock it off, Buster. Sorry to cuss, but knock it off, Buster. Oh, did I die? Oh, no. I've got a different strategy. I've got a better strategy. Hoopla, you're killing it, but you still got half health. You're 
You're doing great. Um, yeah, don't break any more teeth. Um, don't do that. I'm not the boss of you, but I would prefer it if you didn't break your teeth, please. Okay, I'm gonna drop plenty of these items. I need that item right now. Holy damage. I don't think light dragon lightning does holy damage. Does it? Probably not. What can I boost myself with? Restores HP bit by bit. Restores magic bit by bit. Enhances the final hit of chain attacks. That's good. I've got an idea. Actually, yeah, we don't need the fire thing. No, he does breathe fire. He does breathe fire. I'm surprised I don't have any, like... Yeah, I have, like, one lightning negate thing, but it's not that worth it, is it? Yeah, it's not that worth it. Um, I have a thought. I'm going to give him a bunch of poison at his face. That's what I'll do. We'll summon our imp friend. I'm going to boost up imp friend. Do another little boost on imp friend. And then I'm going to poison dragon enemy. That's the spice. That is what I will do. Let's see who has the stronger breath. Okay, mine was not far enough. Oh, God. That was a, was a real... That was a bad miss. That was a very inopportune miss. Get rotten, stupid. That's what you get for being stinky, sir. Wow, I really dodged it. I think he's about to do worse, though. I like a lot. Yes! Okay, so now he's officially aff afflicted with rot. And he's not doing great. That's going to be doing a lot of damage to him all throughout this fight. Hoopla's still doing his thing. That's great. You keep, keep knocking him about, buddy. I don't usually use a bleed build, but that's what these weapons do, and I'm going to keep on doing that because that seems to work well on bosses, so here I go. I'm also just now remembering that we got a katana that specifically does more weapon, to drag, uh, weapon damage to dragons. Really should have invested in that maybe <laughs> before getting into this area. Um, oops. Come on, can this dragon never bleed? Okay, heal. We're doing not so bad though, knock on wood. My desk is wood, okay. Go, Hoopla friend, don't get murdered. <gasps> yes, we're doing okay. Oh God, don't get in the water, don't get in the water. Ah, oh, that still sucks though, a lot. Go, Hoopla, yes, you've got it. Distract him while I distract him. I'm gonna go for the toes! Yep. Oh, we did it! Believe in her dreams, set fire to the rain, chase pavements. Nice, nice. Good job, Hoopla! And he goes back to the spirit realm. I wonder where these spirits come from. If this game has a version of heaven, I do feel kind of bad, because I think every single time they're like, yeah, we're back! I'm feeling good! And then I summon them like, hey, can you fight a literal angry god? And they're like, oh. Oh, I guess. And I'm like, great. And then back to heaven they go. And then, yeah. Really just a bummer is what it is. Okay, that was great. Uh, we got Barry00916 dropping six, 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 box, 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 and 69 cents. Nice. Thank you very much, Barry, saying, hey, Damien, I just started watching Sword AF as I write a D&D campaign after almost beating Elden Ring. Ooh, sounds like we got a lot in common. Uh, it's like I summoned you to stream, lol. Also, the campaign is based on the BG3 D&D video they did. Any tips on DMing or writing your own campaign? Barry, that's a great question. Um, you know, I don't know how experienced you are doing it. That was my first time DMing and writing a campaign. Oh, these dragons. 
These dragons don't look so good. Um, so, you know, what I would say is, is trust your friends that you're playing with, trust yourself. Uh, and I know that sounds like very basic advice, but it really is a big part of it. Um, what I would recommend is having a basic idea in mind of where you would like the story to go and be very comfortable changing things because other people are going to want to have input. That's the whole point. So, you know, if you're really excited for someone to find an item, you know, maybe if they go off the path that you would set, like maybe they don't get the item, but if it's really important, you know, maybe they miss it in this one town, but maybe some thieves, you know, took it in the middle of the night and when they find the thieves, it's there, you know? There's a lot of different ways to make stuff happen. Um, and it's all about balancing that with your players feeling like, and actually experiencing that they have agency. Choices they make matter. Um, the things they do are still fun for them and you can still set up fun little treats for them. So yeah, you're not trying to beat anybody. They're not trying to beat you. You are just having fun together, telling a story as a unit. As a unit. All right. Also, you know, say for instance, you know, you're you're in control, but it's basically like you're being trusted with giving your friends a good time, right? So, say for instance, one of them has a crazy idea on how to fight a boss, and they do it, and they roll a nat twenty, and it just works out, and. It's the kind of thing where like, all right, they're gonna immediately defeat that boss. And like, you wanna reward them. You want them to feel like, yep, I chose to beat that boss and I did it. It was a really wild way to go about it, but I did it. But at the same time, if that boss was gonna be really fun and a big part of the story and they needed some information, you know, maybe that choice that they made actually just means that the boss like loses power in the extra arm that they were going to grow and can no longer summon the dragon to help them. So like there can still be a fight and it still matters that they did something. It's going to be give them a major boost during the battle. But you don't have to fully give up the thing that you're excited to show your friends, you know? So it's a learning experience. Just enjoy yourself. <gasps> Squishy little guys. I don't know why they deserve murder, but apparently they do, because you can. So here we go. Can they bleed? They may not have bones. They do have blood, clearly. They're also charged up with that dragon energy. That red lightning. That is so specific to Dagrons. Oh, also the last... Sorry, I'm, this just became a DD and d stream. Um, the last bit of advice I'll give that I think is very important is, you know, obviously, I don't know a single thing about you as a person. I don't know what your personality is like. One major thing that is good to keep in mind. Oh, wait a minute. We've got a raid from Bruce Green, the greenest of all breezes. Uh, what's up, the Bruce Gooses? What's up, Goose Patrol Squad? Welcome to the Pigeon Coop. Um, thank you so much for the raid, y'all. Welcome on in, Bruce. It's been a minute. I hope you're doing well. How's it going? What were y'all playing tonight? If you're new here, hi. My name is Damien. I'm a voice actor, Twitch streamer. You may also know me from the YouTube channel, Smosh. Um, I usually stream Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. Um, voice acting wise, I'm Lyos and Delicious and Dungeon, Van from Trails Through Daybreak, Shez and Fire Emblem, all a, a bunch of different stuff. So um, good to see you. Welcome on in. I also know how um, raids go, and sometimes you got to skadoodle and get on with your night. So that's totally fine, but I hope we we'll see you another time. Bruce, I hope life is treating you very, very well. Uh, we're going to be fighting Bale the Dragon today in Elden Ring. Uh, Soulsborne games are literally my favorite. He played Pilgrim. Okay. I don't know if I know Pilgrim. Thank you very much, Bruce. Appreciate you. I will indeed have an awesome stream, but only because you told me. Um, ah, you are the Lyos. I'm the English one. Yeah. It's like Void Train meets Lethal Company. I don't know Void Train, but I do know Lethal Company. We're getting closer and closer to some stuff that I can a little bit understand. You're like, okay, it's like if Jenga uh, had a gun. I'm like, oh, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but thank you so much for being here. Um, we were just talking about DMing for uh, d and stuff. Um, so yeah, the last thing I was gonna say about that little tip, because someone had asked for a tip about it, um, I was going to say, be comfortable with letting go of control. Some people 
have a really fun time like messing with the dm and seeing how much they can like poke fun at you and sometimes that is fun for the group and if that's fun for the group and you're okay with it you know ask yourself like is it okay to just let them have their fun and be like okay you outsmarted me you know don't be so interested in the storyline you want to tell that you forget that they are also trying to tell their own story with you um and orca says i want to play that jenga you know what i think it's probably fun but you'd also probably have to buy a new jenga set every time on account of the bullets yeah uh but anyway yeah that's the that's the best advice i can give because i've been in situations where someone was literally just like you know this is how it's going to happen we're going to turn as far left as possible Here's how it happens, and there's nothing you can do about it, and you just sort of have to go like, okay, well, it's not necessarily the most fair in the moment, but also, you sort of then have to, like, the onus is on you to be like, am I, am I, are we still going to have fun today? Yes? Okay, great. You can always talk to someone after and be like, hey, I'd love to work with you and not, like, in opposition. But in the moment, just have fun. Collaborate. Hey, we've also got Lorraine CBX dropping 10 flipping gift subs just in time for the raid. I greatly appreciate you. Lorraine, CBX is gifting to Nicole Newton, Cheeto 2R, Lady Catherine, Fae Queen, Yes, It's Gracie, Red, The Rainbow Friend, uh, Silvius, Parum, Mortis, dang it, oh, I hit caps lock, which always boots me out. Give me one sec, folks, it's gonna take me right back in. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Why is that a function? Why is it also not going back? There we go, we're gonna be good in two seconds here. Right? What is going on? What literally in my life in the world? There we go. Um, uh, Paramortis, Spinach Oni, Stra Strangel Grain, and then uh, a Satchel of Beans. I read that as A-Satch Lesbians, and I'm so glad I checked myself, but I also wanted to let you know that that was the case. Um, welcome to y'all. Thank you very much for being here. Lorraine CBX, thank you for dropping such a generous, uh, sub bomb. Uh, <gasps> God. For those of you that did just join from Bruce's stream and are like, this guy doesn't seem to be all the way there. Yes, I had COVID a couple weeks ago, um, and so I'm still dealing with a little bit of fatigue and brain fog. Um, and now here uh, on this day, I stayed up a lot of the night on account of food poisoning. So honestly, I'm just nailing it left and right, really. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. gonna punch this dragon in its face. He's gonna teach us how to speak dragon D's. Okay. Uh, we have got Troubled uh, dropping 369. Nice. Thank you very much, Troubled. I appreciate the tip. Saying, after hearing you talk so much about how the loop earplugs have benefited you, I ordered a pair this week. Oh, I love that. That's awesome. Not sponsored. Not anything i i buy them too they're just good earplugs for people with sensory issues which i got Ooh, why is this growing out of a person dragon's color bloom that's rude for plants um uh i can't wait to get them in, and hopefully they'll also make a difference for me hoping i'll be allowed to wear them at work missed you this week thank you very much troubled i appreciate you i mean yeah i would hope you're able to wear them at work you can still hear people when they talk to you that's kind of the whole point of them um you just aren't so frustrated by random noise and general loudness around you so it would only make sense that you're allowed but hey i'm not the boss of you and unless i am in which case i'm sorry for missing payments forever because i didn't i didn't know hey look wind Okay, so this is where Egon wants us to summon him. Egon, if you've just joined us here, if you don't know Elden Ring, Egon is the guy from uh, TikTok that's like, Curse you, Bail! I hereby vow that you will rue this day. Is that, is that guy? Cypher, how are you? Good to see you. Welcome on in. Y'all, Cypher, are you still traveling? Y'all, Cypher is another streamer and a very kind individual. Cypher, great to see you. I hope you're doing well. Um, we're about to hop into the curse you bail part. Um, so that's fun. 
I think... I'm thinking of a number. Give up? It's my credit score. Um, I think we have to use Egon's finger. Oh, I forgot we also bought a bunch of shrimp. Oh, I'm okay. I had a small surgery yesterday, but I'm recovering well. I'm glad you're recovering well. Sorry to hear that surgery was needed at all. I know that's never fun, but um, hopefully it's all for the best and you're doing okay. Um, I had food poisoning last night. That's not even close to the same thing. But I just wanted to share something about me. Um, are we going to curse Bale? We absolutely are going to curse Bale. Um, I just need to find Ancient Dragon's Blessing. Great rune here. Uh, oh, wait a minute. What is... Power to resist charms. That's kind of awesome. Yeah, text me over the weekend, Cypher. I've been a little forgetful, so I'll try to be on it in terms of response. But um, that would be that would be lovely. I look forward to catching up. Um, okay, Egon gave it. So this is not it. This is not it. Not it. This is not it. Not it. Is it just that he's like... Maybe we have the finger, so now we can just summon him in the space anyway. What I like about this is, uh, supposedly, you don't have to summon him on the outside of the boss room, which would actually make it harder. Like, when you summon another person or summon a spirit outside of the boss room, um, the boss gets extra HP, and that's not great. Uh, so, thankfully, inside the room, we just, just pops up, and he just starts, like, yelling. No veils is in the creed? No, you walk in first, then you get maybe some cutscene, and the veil will be drawn later. Let's really quickly boost up this potion for ourselves real quick. Um, what can we get? Negates damage, you can explode. <laughs> restores HP, restores magics, boosts faith. Enhances your dodging, I mean, that's, that's always great. Enhances dodge rolls and then restores HP. I'm gonna restore, no, half of my magic doesn't do that much. I'm gonna restore HP slowly but surely. That's gonna be helpful. All right, I don't know what this dragon is weak to. Let's just try. I'm gonna try these claws, which we just started using a couple streams ago. We don't really have a bleed build, and that's what these claws are for, but still, why not? Let's give it a shot. Why not take a crazy chance? Oh, what I will do is boost myself up with um, magics and then rest so that the magics stay in place, but I also then have all of my magics back. Dragon is weak to fairy. Yeah, if only Pokemon typing worked. A Sylveon would show up and be like, you want me to what? That th have you looked at that thing? No, 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 no. Put me back in the computer. Lorraine CBX, thank you for the 300 bits. Appreciate you a lot. Um, this looks like a place where good stuff usually happens. Looks like everything's gonna be okay. Oh God. Okay, that's the Dragon Bale. Okay, if anyone remembers me trying to fight him when I first got to the DLC, I was totally wrong on all my guesses uh, for his lore. Oh well. The music's good though. Where's Egon's summon sign? For people who have played this again, I usually say no backseat gaming, but for now I would like to know. Um, okay. Well, this is just, you know, we're just getting our bearings. Obviously we're just getting our bearings. Near the entrance to the left. Thank you very much in the creed. Come on, Egon. We need you, buddy. Our friend who lost his legs to this dragon and had both of his arms shattered. He needs this. Yes, let's go, Egon. I didn't get that from hearing. Hell yeah, dude. This is awesome. So, what I didn't get when I first listened to that uh, sound on TikTok, especially was when he said, behold a, a true Drake warrior. And I heard the like, and I, Egon, am your fears made flesh. I didn't realize he was talking about you, where he's like, get ready, dude, because I brought with me someone who can finally take you down and I'm here to help. Like, 
because we destroyed those other dragons in front of him, which we did last stream, he's like, finally, I found someone who can handle this. Yes, let's go do the thing that I promised. So I don't even know if, is Egon just a normal dude? Is Egon just a normal man who's like, I hate, I hate this dragon for everything he's taken from me. I'm gonna make this happen. Okay, we need to summon our hoopla friend. Oh God, hoopla friend, go. Oh, I'm about to die here. But like, what a cool way to like, it's such a gamer thing. Oh, God, of course we died first time. That's, this is gonna take a minute. I'm gonna have to really work at this one. Um, that was so cool. Sorry, uh, a lot of games do the thing, especially like MMOs, when you show up and they're like, ah, oh, you, chosen warrior, you're finally here. Finally, someone who can help us do the blah, 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 blah. And you're just like, I know you said this to 28,000 billion people, but there's something about the way that they did it here where like you so rarely get to be the one because you are supposed to feel strong in your weakness, big in your smallness, that Egon specifically being like, this is a Drake warrior and I here will help. I'm just like, oh, like I just get the, I get the, I get the chills. You really feel like you're the tarnished undead. 10 out of 10, a little something for everyone. Um, okay, you know what I might do? Everybody's asking, are your chills multiplying? Yes, exponentially. Okay, I do have some runes here. I might go try to see if I can soup up that uh, really good dragon katana that apparently is great for fighting dragons. Well, let me, let me see if I can even use it. Starling sword. Gargoyles, Blade, Uchikatana, Rivers of Blood, and Morgus Curse Sword. Um, Dragon Hunter's Katana. Oh, we don't have the strength for it. What do we need? Well. Let me think about this. Dragons are weak to, will not fire. I'll tell you that, they're not weak to fire. I think this dragon would be weak to rot. So maybe that's what I'll do. I'll I'll use rot to start against him and then I'll stack bleed with the claws. Ooh, or I know what to do. These uh this sword allows me to be a dodgy lad, super dodgy lad, but I still think I still think Oh, John Sun, I forgot about that. That's a great that's a great great point. You get 50% more strength when you double when you two-hand a weapon. Well, thank you. Then let me let me run back to the main hub area and really quickly soup that up just to see if it helps. But otherwise, I'm also going to make these uh, slidey dagger blade things. I'm going to make them stack bleed instead of doing fire damage. That's going to be the move. Pokemon logic says ice. I mean, you're actually not wrong. The best move would be um, the ancient oh, dragon's yeah. lightning, which actually I could attach to this too. Oh, actually, maybe I do that. Um... Alrighty. Let me see here. We've got Leabug being an extremely generous mother goose. Thank you very much, Leabug. I appreciate you. Also, uh, funny number. <laughs> Y'all, Leabug is dropping 69. 69. Nice, nice. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate that a lot, generous mother goose. Uh, thank you. Uh, Leabug is... <laughs> Saying this stream is a great end to a tough week. Thanks. I'm sorry to hear this week was tough. I tried to think of a different funny number, but I just like hearing you say nice. Take care of yourself. Well, nice. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate you. That was very, very kind and very, very sweet. I, I'm i taking care of myself as best I can. Food poisoning sucked. I didn't even, I don't even know what did it really. Anyway. Um, thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, where's that there fancy, fancy dragon katana? All right. Oh, I don't have enough roots. One second. Ooh, not food poisoning. Also liking the beer. Thank you, Cypher. It's a little bit itchy. I grew it when I, um, when I had the COVID. Um, I was like, yeah, why not? So this is, it's staying for a little bit. I might, I might oh, shave it no. soon. Who knows? Who knows? I think I just maybe needed something different. Maybe when you're stuck at home with COVID and you're like, I need control over something. I'll change my hair. And that's what you do. 
But uh, anyway, thank you very much. All right. I won't boost that anymore. And for now, I'm also going to swap out. I'm going to make it so that I can do the uh, dragon lightning thing on the on the on these two-handed swords. So strength and armament. Nope. Passion of War. I'm going to do this and do... I'm going to do normal so I can boost it up on my own. Keen is 220 plus 232, so that's, that's 452 total damage. You see the blue numbers there, so that's 452. This would be way less. This would be also less. That's 398. So 492 is best for now, or this is... Yep, 492 is best by far, and then I could still use that kind of zappy thing. Um, I will make these... No, I'm going to keep these as they are. Great. Great, 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 great. I'm going to swap out this magics so I don't forget. I'm going to... It's so weird that you can't just... Oh, I guess you can sort them? I don't know. Um. Wait a minute. I do have the... Yeah, okay, cool. Electric blade. Electric blade. I, Egon. Your fears made flesh. I'll do this pretty cool, actually. Charge class, can I do that? No, all right. And we are back. And we're back. Coming up next, trying to murder dragon not easy um leabug thank you again for the very generous tip i appreciate that a lot uh let's see here katra rose is also being a very generous mother goose thank you so flipping much katra rose is uh say is dropping 50 flipping bucks thank you thank you for that uh, saying, I'm really looking forward to the bail fight. I adore watching this game. Well, get ready, Katya, because you dropped that 44 minutes ago, and I'm in the future, which is also the present. Let's murder a dragon, and that's my present to you. Happy birthday. Um, I need to actually do the recharge magic thing over here that I'd mentioned. So here we go. Now we're gonna boost up my way up on Re. <laughs> Is pretty cool. Now we run into here. Oh, well, that didn't really do much. Okay. Oh, I forgot to eat my shrimp. Go, oh, we gone. I never want to beat this boss now. Well, God, no, I do actually. Super bad. Oh god, I need to heal so bad. Can't even see. Whoa! It's a little fact about the voice actor. Oh my god. This is a really difficult fight. Some bosses are hard, but I'm. I haven't gotten rocked like this in a minute. So yeah, uh, that voice actor apparently did not know at all that uh, what the lore of the game was. Had never played any of them. Oh God, my dragon lightning thing literally just ran out. That sucks actually so much. Um, there we go. There we go. It, it does good damage actually. Yeah, and the voice actor didn't even know Bale was a dragon. They were just like, hey, come in. You hate this guy a lot. <laughs> That's where he's just like, oh, I'm gonna kill you to your bones. I hate you very much. I will cancel your subscription to breathing. Um, well, okay, I'm not doing so great here. This is insane. This is the coolest fight. So I'm not even mad about it. This is wild. Like a flipping thornberry. Oh god. I 
can't even, I can't even see. Ah, I love how they brought back my favorite boss from the old games, the camera. Wild. Okay. It's crazy. This is crazy. Honestly, I think I get it. I think if I had to be honest about it, um, curse him, Bale. Honestly, curse him, Bale. I'm gonna swap back to the claws. Oh wait, I didn't even equip the dang katana. Good God, man. Who let me, who let me in here? Yeah, I've got to, I've got to double hand this situation. All right, great. Let's go. Never use this weapon. Let's give it a shot. It's a good idea to walk in and not even try to swing it once. Usually that's helpful. I don't think I'm ever going to get sick of hearing that. That's a nice little reward about dying to this boss actually I sure do Ooh. okay whoop I'm getting the timing of rolling through his fire which is nice Ooh, there we go that's what this is for that jump attack? That's that that's this weapon in a nutshell. Okay. Let's figure out how to use that a little better. Oh god. Oh shit. Unless he just swipes me out of the sky. Hey Egon, you gonna help too, buddy? Honestly, he's so good at talking, though. Keep it up, though, buddy. Oh, you're over there? I couldn't even tell that this man was over there. Oh, God. I was like, he's taking flight. No, he's not. It's just wild that there's no follow-up attack to that, because it, it really... You're really kind of stuck once you hit the thing. Okay, so this is phase two. Got it. It's just a phase, Mom, and he's killing me because of it. Oh, so he's not even firing those off. They're just doing that. He's like, actually, the mountain says, uh, you in particular, and that's great. I love that for me. Wait, what is dropped there? Yeah, so it's me and Egon versus Bale and the camera. Let's see. Let's see what the deal with the sword is. There's any combos? It can block. Oh, wait a minute. Does it, does it charge? Sure doesn't. Let's read about what this does specifically, because I don't know about this one, y'all. Dragon Wound Slash. Designed to hunt colossal dragons, this skill cloaks the armament with a jagged gravel stone aura before performing a high leaping slash. Charge the attack to also fire off the aura. Okay, so lore-wise, the only thing that can kill a dragon in this like ancient dragon form is dragon scales. So when they say it's a dragon wound gravel stone aura, that is its own like dragon element versus dragon. That's gonna be good. Uh, at no 27, no, the other dragons before this weren't too bad. I mean, they were still dragons, but like not, not too crazy difficult. Uh, EPH Bongzilla dropping five flipping gift subs. Let's go. Thank you very much, EPH Bongzilla. Gifting to Nikki Gone 920, uh, System 2 Overload, uh, Noodle Lady 1466, Eric Eric, and uh, Matthew D's Nuts. Clever name. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you very much, EPH Bongzilla. Appreciate you a lot. Playface says, How many aura points do you gain with that sword? I think whatever we gain with this sword is absolutely negated by the fact that we just keep getting our crap rocked by this dragon. But then Egon's here. 
I hereby vow you will rule this day. Behold, the true great warrior, and I, Pigon, your fear. Okay, so firing off that aura is what's helpful because getting over to the boss is very difficult. That's the move. Okay. Whoa, okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to, sir. Damn it. This is I this is the most like So when people say like the the DLC is too hard, let me make it very clear that like earlier Souls games, this is what was normal. You would spend an entire day on a boss that you've never fought before. Um just because it is that difficult to fight them sometimes they are not easy and i think the difference is elden ring isn't necessarily easier it's just that there are a lot more options you know the fact that i can cycle out all these different weapons or i'm like well i'm gonna go get this thing and level up and all the different stuff that's that's the difference so have you tried seducing the dragon with your steed um <sighs> no actually we did make a joke about seducing the dragon last stream. And I was going to talk about that, but not with the steed. Yeah, roll for constitution. I know. I think I've ruined that forever. <laughs> Make a con save. It's like roll for charisma. I already did. I rolled a 20. It's like, all right. Roll for constitution. Roll for constitution. Okay. Uh, what if... It's not about using a different weapon, but instead I have to be better at the game. I feel like that could majorly be the thing for me. So I'm definitely looking for other things I could do, but realistically, I should probably just be better at the game. That might be it. That might be the move. I think that's the move. I think I'm gonna get better at it uh, right now. And so here I go. Any fire resistant armor? Oh, well, the thing is, Bale is using, I'm gonna nerd out for a minute here. Bale is using fire, but it's very much like an ancient dragon fire situation. I don't know exactly what the stat buildup is, but it's, it's also like lightning. It's like dragon element in its own thing. So I don't think the standard little boosts that I've got here is are gonna be the thing that cut it. It'll it'll help, but I don't think it's gonna be the thing. I wonder if he'll curse Bale. Curse you, Bale. <sighs> Just running doesn't work. I think I'm also gonna try using Rot like I used to on all other dragons. Here I go. Look at Egon. Fight Egon. Fight Egon. God dang it. I should probably not do that until I'm safe to do it. I need to wait for the proper moment and then use rot on him. Gonna be the move. Everything's awesome. Everything's awesome. <laughs> With that being said, uh, I do still have this dragon thing equipped. Oh, I didn't eat my lucky shrimp beforehand. You guys see that? I didn't. I didn't eat my lucky shrimp. Gotta eat that. Gotta have my pops. Gotta have my scrimps. EPH Bongzilla, thank you again very much. Your name reminds me of a, uh, I've been getting chess TikToks now and they've all usually been pretty serious where they're like, this is the move in the gambit, which I like don't memorize and don't think about because I don't like to play chess that way because it becomes less fun because that's, yeah. But, um, one of them is like, uh, this next move is called the Super Mega Hyper Bong Rip. Basically, you disrespect your opponents by, um, there, I ate my shrimp. Um, uh, you disrespect your opponents by switching your king and queen for the first six moves of the game. And I'm like, wow, that's actually uh, kind of insane. Okay, I ate my shrimp. I'm sneezing on this man. I've got shrimp breath. Have some all you can eat, baby! Take some stinky, Oh man. I'm realizing now that Egon, by doing this, is like the DJ Khaled of this world. But for some reason, I love Egon. Hey, 
didn't want me to have another anthem. So I had another anthem. I will say as a voice actor, there's a lot of different things that give you satisfaction in performances. For me personally, there is very little in this world that is better than like that moment of like, final attack, I hate you kind of vibe. It's super cool. Oh, I thought I was Egon for a second. I was like, why did I get a bow? Now clearly I should have been using that more. Here we go. I inflicted him with rot. That definitely helped. I don't have the ancient dragon element up now, but that's not going to matter. Jason Derulo. Jason Derulo. I, DJ Mustard on the beat. Hereby bow. Oh God. Okay. I'm going to actually focus because I'm doing pretty okay this time. Bullet hell, bullet hell, let's go. It's where bullets go when they die. I guess rot was the move. Ooh, okay. Well, yeah, I guess if you're just gonna land on me. Yeah, let's all just land on the really cool guy, actually. You like a fart and dumb as a butt. That's who you are. Mom's stinky and so is your dad and so is your own butt. The stinky combination of your dragon parents. And that is why you're dead. More like Bail the Dead! More like Bail the Dead! Um... I need a... You shall haunt me no longer! Oh, and he just disappeared! Oh, that was so good! Shout out to that voice actor. I hope you have a career forever. Oh, I just got chills. That was awesome. I didn't think we'd actually do it this stream. Or ever. Oh, he fulfilled his goal. That's right. Oh my God. How cool. There is like nothing better storyline wise, trope wise than someone being like, I have transcended time and space to fulfill one goal. And now I get to go snooze. God, I love that. That's so good. Uno reverse, now he's gonna haunt Pale. I think that's what just happened though. I think that's what he was doing. Cause Egon definitely died. I'm pretty sure we, we summoned him. Or maybe that was the last thing he needed where he's like, good, now I can finally die. Jeez Louise, buddy. Now I can finally die. Um. Wow, holy crap, that was awesome. Thank you y'all for joining for that really cool moment. And we used and we used the swords we've been using all game, except they weren't even souped up. This is great. Look at us go. Leah Bug, thank you for the two thousand bits, you generous mother goose. Leaface, thank you for saying grats. Thank you very much. That was so cool, Sizzi's code. That was a wealth also like shout out Elden Ring designers. FromSoft, Miyazaki, Flippin, that was great. What a well designed fight. Um, Ember Topaz with 100 bits. Also, like, making us care about an NPC that quickly after meeting him. Amazing. Um, Amateur Nail Art, thank you for dropping five flipping gift subs. Gifting to Willow Waffle. Skeleton Ribs. Oh, the thing that you play Xylophone on. Nice. Uh, Little Gaming Kitty. Uh, Till Debt Do Us Part. And then Wrath's Fury 117. Thank you so flipping much. I greatly appreciate you. Um, and then we got Twatha dropping 10 flipping gift subs. Um, gifting to Amethyst Nix, uh, Marine Limey, uh, Rahul, SB uh, McCoy, Muffin Man, uh, P4 Visky, Freeze Dried Eggs, Bloody Daughter, Moldy Peach, and then March Hare. Thank you so flipping much. Twatha, I may not be able to read real, real good. <laughs> but I still appreciate it a lot. Thank you so much. Uh, rest of the Dread Dragon. Uh, I wonder if they're saying this is where he is his final resting place or if it's like, did you kill Bale? Yeah, where'd he go? Well, the rest of him's over there. Yeah. The Muffin Man. Yeah, I thought the Muffin Man was perfect when we were like, his plant face was like, seduce the dragon with your donkey. And it's like, do you know the Muffin Man? Yeah, I don't think we can do anything else here. That was pretty sick. Let's go back to the NPC that was like, I serve dragons. Wait, is Egon still alive? Maybe he was just snoozing. Y'all, maybe he was just asleep. Yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, let's go check in with him. I hope that, I kind of hope that was his last moment. I'll feel pretty sad if he's just like, thank you, friend. 
now I can die and it's your fault, but thank you. I think, yeah, I think I'd like to leave it at that, but let's see. Thank you again for the bits. Thank you all for celebrating with me. My goodness, little Laura G, thank you for the 200. Appreciate you. Amber Topaz, thank you for the 100. Again, y'all, stream at least signing tomorrow, 12.30 p.m. That's my time, Pacific uh, California time. Um, doing that there, signing on stream -ally. And what else? Sunday, normal stream time. Um, uh, anime, Impulse, OC, uh, next week. Oh, you son of a goose. Oh, why do you make us find him like this? What did he drop for us? There goes Bale, there's our message. Time for sleep, warrior. And now, his watch is done. Oh, he gave us everything! Wow, look at his helm. He does look like he was more like a peasant, like just a normal guy. Very like ragtag armor, a loincloth. Oh, he gone. <laughs> Rabbits on chalk says he gone. How dare you? <laughs> You're like, oh no, he's gone. Does this look like it'll fit? I'm gonna miss him. Does this? It looks nice. It looks nice. Yeah, it sucks that he dropped it. Actually, this is fate. This is great. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make this moment less sad. Uh, where's Egon's armor? Scale armor. Egon's armor. Armor of the broken Drake warrior Egon. So he was a Drake warrior. From a set comprised of miscellany parts. Filthy belongings are attached to his tattered piece of protective wear. Poor scavenger of battlefields found honor through dragon communion. Oh God, I want this dude's story so bad. Gauntlets of the broken Drake warrior Egon. No more than a mishmash of tatters and remnants stripped from a corpse found in the aftermath of a battle. All right, so he didn't have armor of his own. He kept finding them on other dead soldiers. Loincloth of the broken Drake warrior Egon stripped from a corpse found in the aftermath of a battle. This cloth of, ooh, this scrap of cloth smells utterly foul. He didn't have to do that. From soft. He didn't have to do that. Just like he found honor on the battlefield, took whatever he could. Also, just so you know, he smelled like absolute shit. Like if you were around him, unbearable, you couldn't. And you'd just be like, did someone just himself? And he's like, I don't know where else to do it. I don't know where else to go. It's all I have. Uh, <laughs> uh, this tattered protective wear is shaped like a bugle. Wow. So they literally just dropped that, like, he probably grabbed the, like, bugle that the other warriors use, strapped a little piece of cloth to it, and he's like, it's my special hat. Wow, that's awesome. I bet his bow is good, though. The th I mean, that was a real dragon murder thing. Weapon of Egon, the Broken Drake Warrior, yeah. A great bow fashioned from two dragon bones bound with coarse rope, covered in gashes left by claws, imbued with Egon's obsession, enhancing the power of Egon's harpoon. Skill, Egon's Drake Hunt. Skill of Egon, Drake Warrior. Ready uh, the bow before unleashing a twisted shot with a great bellow that considerably enhances its power. That's awesome. I will say, because it does not directly hurt, it like hit the dragon, I feel like the dragon bone thing, maybe you didn't need, like maybe you could have had a much more like sinewy bow with like uh, some kind of willow branches. You could make a, like a recurve bow out of really anything, but you know, that's pretty cool. I do have to respect him for using all the parts of the dragon. Um, we found Egon's heart. So let's see here. They didn't give us his soul. So I'm very curious if we're able to get like a remembrance from him in terms of like a special weapon or if this is the thing. Wait a minute, what? Did she die now too? Oh my God. If you had put her asleep, she wouldn't have died. But you needed her to. Priestess heart. Flower stone gavel. This is nuts, dude. What if he crafted this bow from his bare hands with a from dragon he killed? I would imagine that's the case, Jonixon. I think that's, that's what I got from it. I'm no expert, but that's certainly what I got from it. All right, so let's see. Dropped her weapon. Weapon of the Dragon Communion Priestess. For anyone who's new here, um, if you beat, beat a dragon and offer their heart to like the magics around these dragon altars, you can sort of get 
some of their powers, some of their magic within you. You become a little part dragon, and there's things hidden in the lore that show that this maybe isn't the smartest thing to do, and people end up meeting some grim fates if they go a little bit too far into that, but, like, it doesn't really affect you. Four petals of the flower's core are all sharp, ending in points, and are capable of dealing heavy damage to dragons. Well, that would have been nice. Uh, flower Dragon Bolt. Calls down the red lightning of the ancient dragons to strike a target. Deals lightning damage and also temporarily reduces the target's lightning damage. Negation can be charged to increase its power. All of this would have been great for the biggest dragon in the game. That's fine. The Stone Heart of a Dragon Communion Priestess. Use Wildest Rope to turn one's human flesh into an ancient dragon. Oh, okay, got it. This change cannot be undone except by death. Using this heart while already transformed temporarily boosts incantations of the capital's ancient dragon. The priestess was once an ancient dragon herself, but sacrificed in the form of evil flesh to aid in the destruction of Bale of Dread. Um, okay, and then finally, Bale's heart. Uh, the, bi the biatrial heart of Bale the Dread. Only two chambers? Their hearts only got two chambers? What an idiot. Um, gorge upon this at the Grand Altar of Dragon Communion to absorb Bale's power, the purest form of communion in the words of the priestess. That's awesome. Dovahkiin, yeah, Dovahkiin indeed. Dovahkiin, Dovahkiin, not a single sardine. Communion with Bale. I can get Bale's Tyranny, okay. Channels Dread Dragon to roar with a heat wave blast. One of the greatest dragon communion incantations. Harness the fearsome power of Bale the Dread. Channels the form of the Dread Dragon to emit a mighty roar, accompanied by a heat wave burst causing violent eruptions of fire in the area. Even after being consumed, the throbbing heart of Bale continues to resist its subjugation, never weakening. One day, the fire within will consume the very body and soul of its communion power. One day, oh, so I really shouldn't, I don't know. Or Bale's flame lightning, that sounds awesome. Um, channels the form of the dread dragon in the right arm to smash foes. Oh, this is just United States of Smash All Might situation. Flame lightning in the right arm? I mean, yeah. Question, for anyone who is aware of the game a lot, this seems like the move. Is there anyone that's like specifically way better than the other? Is It's giving Balrog of Morgoth. Yeah, do you know in the original filming, uh, there was not supposed to be a Balrog. He just showed up and started beating the hell out of Gandalf and they kept, the, kept it rolling. Um... Uh, is a dragon hearted character in a TV show? Uh, it's an old movie uh, with Sean Connery in the voice where it's like, uh, I am the last dragon. Yeah, dragon. I've heard the first one is the move. Uh, yeah, they just kept it in. Yeah, they just kept it in. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm curious if there's one. So I've only got one person saying that first one is, is the move. I have not used either. Okay. For damage, the second. Well. That's super nice of you. Thank you very much, Mr. Beanie Boy. Dropping five flipping gift subs. Uh, thank you very much for doing that. Gifting to Doctoon, Beloved B, Arihol, Cyber C, and they call me Zap. Thank you very much. I appreciate that a lot, Mr. Beanie Boy. What was the cartoon that had the Beanie Boys? I don't remember. Anyway, um, someone had said something a second ago. From what I've heard, the second one may be better. For damage, second is the move for how cool it... For damage, second is the move for how cool it looks. Got it. Oh, you don't have to apologize for being very sweet and generous. That was very, very nice of you. Thank you. Mr. Beanie Boy, you are good to go. I just couldn't see it because the, the chat was like... Which is fine because I can do it. I can scroll. Um, all right. Fails, flame, lighting. I'm going to get the... I'm going to use this one. I think this is going to be super cool. Will the Lyos character be eating all the dragon hearts? Oh, absolutely. That's going to be part of it. Okay, we're going to do the United States of Smash one. We don't have anywhere near the requirements for it right now, but, you know, so it goes. Um, also, we have to fully disrobe in order to uh, use this dragon form. So, like, pretty cool, but also, like, and Lamenter's Mask. And the priestess's heart. All right, time to get naked. Sorry, everyone. It's everyone else's problem now. Oh, yeah, and I never have to use this katana again. Um, I just want to see what this is like. Wait, what? 
why can't I why can't I use the priestess heart? Oh, I literally have to stop. I have to get rid of all items. Hold on. I literally can't be using or wearing anything. Hold on. Give me one second. I'm going to I got to rest and see if I can do that. Oh wait, no. This area Sorry, this area you can't battle or do anything battle related. That's why. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Oh, still got to keep going. Uh, Mr. Beanie Boy, thank you again very much. Um, we've got Amateur Nail Art dropping 369. Whoa. Now we look like a Dagron. Oh, we can just kick things as a dragon? That's awesome. But now we can just... All we can do is use dragon incantations, which means... Oh, we can still use a focus. Oh, and we can still use our weapons. Got it. Duh. That's actually way better, because I was like, all right, I guess we're just gonna kick stuff as a dragon. That's pretty cool, I guess. Nope, it's even, it's even more better than that, which is cool. Um, gotta get the punches, too. Beware, Dragon Karate. This is cool. Look at this go. And now the Dragon Bolt is probably going to be an insane attack boost to our way up. All right. So we did. I mean, we beat Bale. That's a big deal. Um, I am going to save fighting Mesmer, which is the next massive boss in this game, which I've been saving a very special surprise for. Oh, I've got a very special surprise for when we fight Mesmer. Ooh, such a surprise it be. Um, I'm going to save that for Sunday. So what I'll do instead is continue on that little, um, that little uh, quest for those memory stones so I can equip more magics. So I can equip more magics. And that's what I need to do. Okay, so the first one, um, we started at the very beginning of the stream, uh, the Converted Tower. Converted tower, I couldn't get in because I didn't have a specific skill. Gesture can be obtained by giving Thops an Academy Glintstone key at the Church of Erith. Done! Let's go! Let's go! Okay, let's go. Man, the guy was just sitting right there the whole time. Thank you for the 100 bits, little, uh, little Laura G, and sleep well. Thank you very much for hopping on in. I appreciate you. We got Katya Rose gifting a sub to Nico Nico Nya 42. Uh, a very spicy welcome to you. Thank you very much, Nico. And uh, thanks for doing that, Katya. Appreciate you. All right. Yeah, we're sort of stuck as a dragon until we die. Hope this guy will still talk to me. I hope they do the thing that like Pokemon does where it just doesn't matter to them at all. Where you're like showing up with a legendary Pokemon that's not supposed to exist. And they're like, my nephew is starting at the Pokemon Academy. It's like, do you not want to talk about this at all? Is this not an important thing to you? Back to learn another. Wonderful. You're most welcome to any of my anemic little spells. First of all, teach me the things you know. Now, I'm going to give you a key. So you found yourself a glintstone key. But I certainly can't take it from you. That key belongs to you. By right, you should use it for yourself. It's true. I wish to return to my place of study. But that's no excuse to impose upon others. Oh, is this why bluntstones always finish last? What are you... Head to the academy. Carry on with your job. Don't bother hope. Oh, there's a second key to find in there, Thank isn't there? For learning my... I never Head to the Don't bother but I've holding. already done... I've already done... He's supposed to give you the thing! I guess there's a second... There is a second one, huh? I remember that. If I remember correctly, it was in the rafters of some location. It would be like... These little... Sp the debate parlor. Could it be? Church of I think 
I think it's earlier on. Schoolhouse classroom. I'm going to just start right here at the beginning of the area and just run through real quick. How silly. How silly. Stephanie Nicole is dropping 10 flipping bucks. Thank you very much, Stephanie Nicole. Um, saying, hi, Damien. Thank you for the stream as always. Well, thank you for joining. I appreciate you. I am currently sick and feeling like death. Oh, no. So the distraction is helpful and much needed. It is also my cat Popeye's 12th birthday. Happy birthday, Popeye. Oh, cat birthdays. I love that. I truly love that. Um, that makes me very happy. Uh, he is my rock, and I want him to have the best day ever. That is so sweet. Well, happy birthday to your cat. You know, I don't say it enough. I really don't say it enough, but happy birthday to your cat, actually. Um, thank you very much. That's very sweet. Dragon Man. All righty. Oh, Amateur Nail Art also dropped 369. Nice. Thank you very much, Amateur Nail Art. Sorry for missing you there. Um, saying, hi, Damien. I survived teaching the first week of school. Congratulations. Wow, it's already been a week. Um, I even made it to the gym four out of the five days. Woo, to try to create a routine. Good for you. The only day I didn't go is because of a migraine, but the week went pretty well overall. It should be a good year. I love that. I love the optimism. I think you are correct. And I wish you so flippin' well with everything. That is absolutely awesome. Uh, congrats. And you know what? If you don't stick to the gym routine all the time, that's okay too. But I am stoked for you. Alrighty. We also got Andrea M drop in. Six, 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 five, five, five. Man, I didn't need to take my controller off of the hand off the controller, did I? I'm gonna do this right here real quick. Oh man, that face. Pretty rough, bro. It's uh, pretty rough, dude, actually. Yeah, these guys don't like uh, when they get stabbed with lightning blades, so there we go. Robot. These rafters? I feel, yeah, I feel like it's up there somewhere. I feel like it's these rafters. Ooh, the marionette armor. That's pretty cool. You! You! Okay, so we've already been there. And that is... Which one is that? That's the Church of the Cuckoo. That's where I almost went. So I'm assuming we gotta get up there. Oh yeah, it's probably... I probably gotta jump through a window. Jumping through a window. I am remembering this now. This is the that. So there's definitely going to be some some little uh, like church rafter locations. Yep, 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 yep. I'm seeing it. Oh wait a minute, hold on. If you don't have the urge. Oh, hold up. Okay, apparently, on that very same page, I didn't even realize well, you don't necessarily need the gesture because you can just jump up the side of that tower like a sneaky little guy. The, the thing in the walkthrough literally said, if you're skilled enough. So I'm like, I mean, they're kind of calling me out here. So I'm going to do that. My horse is probably freaked out because now I'm a dragon and that's how that goes. Um, Andrea M drop in six, 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 box, box, box. Uh, I go, okay, I go use the sleeps. Sleep well, Cypher. Take care. We will indefinitely, we'll definitely catch up later. Talk soon. Sleep well and feel better. Andrea M, thank you very much for dropping six, 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 box, box, box. Saying bonjour, bonjour. Uh, I will soon be MIA when my sister and I leave for Paris. <laughs> That's French talk for Paris next Wednesday. Uh, neither of us have been to France and we are so excited. And a nine-day vacation is always needed. That's amazing. I'm so happy for you. Hope you, the cats, and the coop all have a wonderful weekend. Au revoir. Um, that's French for a, a reservoir. Um, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful time. I've also never been to Paris. Paris. That's how they say it in, in uh, Paris. Paris. 
Yeah, okay, so apparently that wasn't hard at all. That actually wasn't even a thing. That wasn't even a thing. Are you kidding me? Why was that? Why was... Why did they do that? Is it this? Is that what I was going for? My god. Just wasted a bunch of time. But at least we got it now. That's awesome. Thank you very much, Andrea M. And I hope you have a, a wonderful time. We have a wonderful time. All right, well, we did that. Drop by the Red Wolf of Radigan. We already did that one. Um, found in the chest at the top floor of Testu's Rise in Lyernia of the Lakes. It involves a challenge. Let's see what that is. Yeah, all of these are in Lyernia of the Lakes. Uh, look at tower initially sealed by a barrier inspecting the statue at the entrance you asked to seek three wise beasts wait we already did that right unless there's a second one with three wise beasts that's kind of crazy test two's rise is this i guess this is the one we i guess we didn't already do that okay that's nuts unless we did Uh, all right, there we go. There's three wise beast ones? That's crazy. I thought most beasts were kind of stupid. Like my colossal cat, who I love very much. Okay, so I can't jump down from there. I will do an immediate death. So now I'm going to swap over to that. Alrighty. All right. Let's do that real quick. It's giving opening the Ocarina of Time. Odin-sama? What the heck? Dropping 50 flipping gift subs? Are you kidding me? Thank you so much, y'all. Can we get some generous mother geese in chat? Thank you. Excuse me, Mr. Scrimps. I can't talk now. Odin's here. Sorry, Odin-sama. Um, thank you so flipping much for that. Good lord. That shrimp murder was in your honor, and it's your fault. Um, thank you so much for dropping 50 flippin' gift subs and gifting two. Robin is here. Masu1510, Daddy Quad, uh, D Danny, uh, maybe D Dan NYC, um, Virtua Anna, Uber Kartoffel55. Kartoffel is German for potato, bringing us back to the potato conversation. Raw Tomic, uh, Grogafa, Spider Man, Lucy Goosey, Mute2, uh, uh, Code Breaker, Alias Clueless, MVRTS, Rider Spider, Ivory Belzo, Twitches, Twitches Watch, um, Shikon's, Shikon Jules, uh, Andy JL, Faith Shadow, Renny or whatever, yet another gay emo, Boop the Awesomeness, or Awesomest, Road Corpse, uh, Urania Art, uh, Machigacha, Lunacy, Walter Hahn, uh, IDK457, Lori M Mc McSly, uh, Ellen Louise, Agate Fiber, Ag Agate Fiber, I think. Um, Lexi Star, Temporal Tempo, Jeff Allen, your mom fights dragons. I guess we're your mom, because we just did that. Um, uh, Alfie, 444, Peapog, Whack, Map, Doge, uh, Joan the Fish, Dio the Donut Maker, Thurstman, Z Night Owl, NSM, uh, Katunka97, Elias Scamander, Bunny M, Z Llama, middle name Mark, and then Anime Go Crazy. Thank you so flippin' much, Odin-sama. That was wild. Um, if you were gifted a sub by Odin-sama, drop a thank you in the chat. But I will also do that on behalf of all of us. Holy crap. Thank you so flippin' much. That was bonkers, bonkers, bonkers generous. Um, you didn't have to do that, and you did. And I thank you. That stuff definitely helps support me. And I, I really, I really appreciate you a lot. Thank you. Um... Wow, thank you. And then Lemony Drew gifting us up to Grundau as well. Thank you very, very, very much. Uh, we got Respect popping in, asking... First of all, welcome on in at Respect. Asking uh, if I'm going to be playing Black Myth Wukong. Unfortunately, it looks like probably not. I was very interested in the game, but, uh, you know. Unfortunately, 
the devs have some opinions that I very much don't agree with, and they brought it in specifically to streaming. You know, they were like, you can't, don't make sure you don't say any weird feminist talk when you're streaming the game. I'm like, that's a really weird stipulation to put on a legal agreement for a streaming. I can't guarantee I'm not going to say something that's pro women. So, uh, 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 oh, and I saw some people saying like they were just, you know, forced to say that due to, you know, the Chinese government and sticking to those kind of regulations. But then unless there's some major translation issues, they, they sure seem to have a great time saying some of those things where it, just some really bizarre stuff that I'm like, damn, the game looks good. There's other good games, you know? And it's a bummer because it was like, oh, cool. Like China's making a game that like they're trying to specifically, you know, move out of the, the mobile market and move into like this kind of style. It's it's a huge bummer. Uh, respect says, yeah, that's fair. So annoying when good art is ruined by how certain people act. I guess you say you respect the choice. No, thank you very much. And thanks for listening. Yeah, it's, it's a bummer because it's a souls like game. People are like, no, it's not. It is. It is. And that's OK. Um, and it looks fun and it looks really beautiful and the uh, the myth of Sun Wukong is a cool one that would to be explored But you know, it's just it is what it is seek three wise beasts. Okay. We're gonna see some beasts What's up y'all welcome back to beast seeking? Uh, well, these guys are very rude actually. Oh I was like do they just live forever okay. Those guys weren't beasts were they? So armored core is the sleepy little rider. Yeah, I want to play Liza, Liza P. I want to play armored core. <gasps> turtle in a tree. Turtle in a tree. Turtle in a tree. But like, they're not going to sue you for streaming it and talking about how based feminism is, right? Y you know, I thought about that, but then I'm like, oh, I will have also given them $60 or however much it costs. So I'm like, you know. I think they're going to be happier with my money than me being like, I actually think feminism is cool. You know, I, I think the dig that it would put into their side is is not worth the money I would also give them. Yeah. So there you go. Um, Nico, Nico, Nya, thank you for dropping five flipping bucks. I appreciate you um, saying hi. This is my first stream and wishing you good luck against that dragon. Oh, thank you. Yes, uh, that was a little bit ago. So, uh, cause you tipped an hour ago. My apologies for missing that, but obviously we destroyed Bale, the dragon. We destroyed Bale. Yeah, and if you're new here, like I talk about social issues and political issues here and there because it affects our world and not talking about it is a very privileged position because that means that you have the ability to not talk about things because it wouldn't otherwise affect your life. So I try to talk about things that are important to me. So it's not like every single stream. I'm like, here's the awesome thing about feminism. But I am a feminist because I believe in gender equality, regardless of what gender you identify with most. Like, it's just uh, so just having something like that in the terms of service, like, don't be weird about don't say it when you're streaming. I'm like, no, how about I buy your game and you don't tell me what to do, actually. So. Mwah, mwah. Wombity womp. And you know, people also talk about freedom of speech and it's like, yeah, okay. Like you said it. And now I have my freedom to not play your game. Like that's how it goes. I'm not gonna make other people not play your game. And I'm not gonna look at someone playing your game and go, oh, mm, well, mm, actually, mm, you know, cause it's their choice. But I'm just, I'm not gonna do that. So. Womp womp. Does anyone know where the third beast is? <laughs> There's a turtle just hiding for its life. Oh, man. Like, yeah. Looking for that third beast. Where is it? Seek tree and then be wary of two high up. Oh, wait. Is there one in a balloon? Up ahead. Right up. What are you doing in Elden Ring right now? Because I just see you walking around. We just finished fighting Bale. We're just trying to get uh, memory stones right now because I skipped a lot of them just going to the DLC. So, womp womp. Because um, I'm winding down stream. Things are winding down, so I just want to get a couple more little uh, ability slots. Do you remember to curse Bale? I did curse Bale, actually. I cursed him straight to heck. 
Praise the dog. Why is it always dog? Right up, then seek right. Wait, which direction did you point? Right up, and then seek right. I know there was one in a tree. Are there more in a tree? Gosh darn it, I'm just gonna click on the gosh dang thing. Testu's tower. Testu's rise. Where are the three turtles? One, the first tortoise can be found by the cliffs northwest of the tower on the same level. The second tortoise is found high up in one of the trees. We already did that one. Found tortoise is to the southeast of the tower on a ledge halfway down the cliff. It's the gosh dang ledge one. I've been looking for the ledge one anyway. Call of Duty big ledge one. We got jokes. We down the left. Where's the weapon? There, dude. One southeast of the tower. Southeast of tower. Southeast of tower. Yeah, we are southeast of tower. Where's the ledge turtle? Hold me now. I'm six feet from the ledge, and I'm thinking, maybe tortoise. Oh crap! I will murder every turtle. I will buy. I curse you, turtle. Putting the real putting the turd in turtle. You know what? I'm putting my armor back. I forsake the way of the dragon. Oh y'all! I never showed you what's so messed up about this other robe that we got. High priest robe. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait. I need runes for that. Where's the straw weapon? Demonasha says. I have like a tweet sitting in my draft somewhere that was like, in the future, the war will be fought against the last turtles. Their weapons, straws. Um, it wasn't funny, so I didn't tweet it. But the way you said it is is good. Um. All right. Alter garments. Armored core. Alter garments. Okay. So this this robe right here, the the high priest robe. You've seen it, right? We've talked about this. Whoop. Bunch of fingies. It becomes a fingy robe. Look at that spooky old fingy robe. Look at all the... Oh, oops, Captain Crunch's oops all fingies. Hate it. Actually hate it. Pretty gross when you think about it. Uh, isn't that rough? It's pretty bad. <laughs> it's actually uh, a Stygian nightmare that I would just love to wake up from. And so I will. I'm going to swap to way better clothes that are not that. What are your three favorite Paramore songs? Probably Crush, 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 Misery Business, and, um, oh, God. <sighs> Decode. Monster. Seek three wise beasts. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know about the beasts. Okay, well, first of all, southeast of tower. Southeast of tower, fighting turtle. Making soup from turtle. <gasps> turtle! Curse you, turtle. I hereby evolve. The seal on the rise open, woo! All right, we're going to get this memory stone, then I'm going to wrap up stream because this is an extra stream that I did, which I'm happy about doing. Thanks again for always being so understanding, y'all. This week was just a hard one for streams. Tuesday, fell asleep because of post-COVID fatigue. Straight up on my sofa, sitting up, honked out. Um, woke up at like 8, so well after what stream should be. Um, and then... Yeah, uh, Wednesday to Thursday was filming and editing a thing that you'll see later. But I had to, like, stay up late to film it, edit it early in the morning, then edit it the rest of the afternoon. So it was just it was just a lot. Um, all good things, all things I'm happy to do, but um, I was just too tired. So, yeah, 
uh, tomorrow, 12.30 p.m., doing that there signing stream on Streamily. You'll still be able to get yours during the stream. Excuse me for the burp. <laughs> all their music is S, S tier. Yeah, that's the hard thing about Paramore is, like, they have such bangers all, um, you know, all throughout their career, which is so rare, especially because they sort of changed to this, like, like hyper pop like funky indie stuff later you know it's it's a they, they have like this weird shift but it ended up being good um nico nico thank you again for the the tip uh angel triple seven m um subscribing for the first time a very spicy clever coop welcome to you thank you very much angels triple seven angel jackpot um greatly appreciate you many severals of oodles of much we've also got tuatha dropping seven 77 thank you very much twatha um jackpot i never know what to say for that one but thank you um oh wow we've almost we're almost done yeah we're almost done uh getting these memory stones that's kind of awesome there's only three more that we need actually if that um twatha thank you very much saying today i discovered with absolute delight the self-esteem boosting magic of a haitian woman calling me girl i wish all the coop to experience the like someday blessings Watha, that's awesome. I love that. Anything that's like validating from your community or communities around you, that's flipping cool. And I flipping love that. And I think that's awesome. Um, I've never had that experience specifically, but I did have an experience once, um, oddly enough. Similarly, I was like, I was like maybe like 11 or 12. And um, there was, I was like getting deli or a sandwich at like a deli counter at Publix, which is a grocery store in the not Western part of the United States. And this man, I don't remember how it came up. You know, I was a kid, so maybe I asked him where he was from because he had an accent. I know that's not particularly appropriate, but I was like 11. Um, but then my guess is that's probably how it happened. And he said like, Haiti. And I was like, oh, wow, Haiti. He's like, well, do you know what that is? Or do you know where that is? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. And I was like, yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, next to the Dominican Republic. Like uh, uh, Port-au-Prince is the capital. And he was like, wow, like I didn't, you know, most people don't know much about Haiti. He was like very proud to be Haitian. He was like, you know, a lot of people don't know. And, you know, he was also surprised that I was like 11 or 12, like white boy in the South. And he specifically was like, especially, you know, a, a, a white kid, you know, sorry to say that. And I'm like, no, absolutely, man, Haiti, like, yeah. And so I think he was very happy. And so I felt happy that I could make him feel seen because he's like, oh, you know where I'm from. So not the same, but kind of the same. That's the closest I've got, I guess. Yeah. So anyway, Twatha, I love that for you. Um, yay. Yay for connecting with community and the people around you. That is wonderful. Um, Lorraine CBX is dropping 10.69. Nice. Uh, Lorraine, thank you very much. Appreciate you. Uh, saying we miss you. I hope you're feeling better. I appreciate that. Thank you. I do feel better. Just a rough week. Still recovering from COVID. And then I, I'm assuming it was food poisoning last night. I don't know for sure. But like... I don't know how often do you just wake up at like 1 a.m. being like well i'm gonna go throw up now like it just i haven't thrown up in years and then immediately you know what sleepy little writer it could have been heat stroke that's a great point i didn't even think about that but i was out in the hot sun all day and i'm very much not used to that Ooh, y'all are right y'all it probably was heat stroke wow that's wild yeah because i was out in the sun for like what four hours maybe more and i never do that because i'm very sensitive did you drink water oh yeah i mean i had tons of water i made sure to stay as hydrated as possible but there's only so much you can do when you're very sensitive to the heat and the sun and all that good stuff orphan of gwen says ew son yeah you've got gwen in your name so i bet you like the fake sun that you conjure in dark souls one you need a parasol damien you know what's crazy is i have one I think I need one that's like very fashionable. I need like a fashionable sun parasol. But that's me fully admitting that I'm just a little vampire guy. <laughs> uh. Just, I was gonna say what would have done it if it were food poisoning. I mean, initial reality, you never know, but like I did have a, uh, I like ordered a meal off Uber Eats uh, that night. So it was possible that like whatever got cooked sat out too long, you never know. Um, but Lorraine, thank you very much. And then the final tip of the evening is from Rabbits on Chalk. Drop in 777 <gasps> jackpot. Thank you very much. Uh, Rabbits on Chalk says, uh, hey, Damien, congrats on cursing Bale. Thank you. It was great. What a cool, 
What a cool experience to share with y'all. I hope you're having lots of fun. I accidentally triple booked plans with friends tomorrow. No overlap, but barely. So I'm speed charging my social battery tonight. Nice problem to have, I guess. Lucky vibes to you. Thank you, Rabbits on Chalk. I appreciate you. You know what? I know what that's like. You never intend to, but you're just like, oh man, actually this is a full social day. And you're like, yeah, this will probably be fun. But also, uh-oh. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I want to say I'm sorry to hear that, but it sounds like you're going to have fun. So I'm good to go have fun, but please be kind to yourself. You know, good friends can usually understand if you really need to like, um, you know, call it quits. Sometimes that just happens. I, I bail on people all the time, not on purpose. Curse you for bailing, they always say. Um, y'all, this was absolutely lovely, and I can't thank you enough. Seriously, this was, um, a wonderful way to spend a Friday night. I really appreciate you spending your time with me. Um, very excited for the stream, uh, Streamily signing tomorrow. Also, uh, a lot of you probably saw the tweet, but Sungwon Cho, another streamer slash voice actor, uh, he plays Senshi in Delicious in Dungeon. Uh, he and I are going to be doing a charity stream on Tuesday. It's been a while since we've done a charity stream, and that's so important to this community um so we're gonna be doing a charity stream i think it's i don't know for co-streaming or if it's on his channel it's whatever but we are um uh <laughs> doing like rankings of supposedly like waifus and husbandos um i don't even know what that fully means yet it was his idea uh for stand up to cancer um so i'm very excited for that for tuesday sunday's normal stream saturday tomorrow is signing stream uh so i will see y'all pretty gosh dang soon here um but that's that's it i'm gonna read out the resubscribers and we're gonna call it a night thank you again for joining y'all and all the new people who hopped in from raids and such uh thank you for joining i hope we get to see you again another time and if not you know i hope we at least entertained you this evening um so time to read out all the resubscribers as I always say you never have to do these things it means a lot when people come back month after month so thank you so much and welcome back to a spicy welcome back to i'm just joe for their 13th month andrea m for their 41st riven rose war for their seventh we got december fall for their one year clever anniversary. let's go happy one year uh here's to 10,000 more penguin utopia for their four year clever anniversary. let's go how are you not sick of me yet penguin utopia thank you so much uh you get the official golden moogles presenting blue cakes for the multi-year stream anniversary. Uh, thank you for four flipping years of support. I don't know how what I can say to thank you enough for that, but um, truly, truly appreciate you. And thank you so much to Amanda M. Davis, River Nuri, um, Demo Nacho, Elias, Katya Rose, Noah Cola, and uh, Chris Salmons, all for helping me carry those blue cakes. They're very heavy. They're made of tungsten. So thank you for being the blue cake reinforcements, those tier two and tier three subscribers. That's literally the only benefit, and I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Jonixon for their 10th, uh, Kira Delaney for their 4th, because I am Batman for their 43rd, Midnight Mixon Fox for their 45th at a tier 2. Thank you very much. Take care of your tier tooth uh, that you said you broke. Please, please, please do. And thank you for the support. Here's to 28 trillion more. Uh, Lobella for their 61st, uh, Lindley or whatever for their 5th, Prof Ben for their 25th, Raccoon Jess for their 26th, Stephanie Nicole for their 3rd, uh, we got Lily Pad T for their 3rd, uh, Elias for their 4 year clever anniversary. Elias, wow, 4 years, look at, look at us go, crazy, 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 and also at a tier 2, thank you very much for the extra chunk of support, um, absolutely wishing you well, hopefully life is treating you very kindly, and uh, here's to 28 trillion more, actually. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Tartuber for their ninth. Megan Bomb for their 53rd. Spicy Sweets for their one year. Uh, thank you very much for your support. Happy Clever anniversary to you. Uh, Danny the Blue Recluse for their 10th. Kay Aaliyah for their 7th. Kayla Macaroni for their 35th. Also at a tier 2. Kayla, thank you for the extra chunk of support. Swatha for their third. Katya Rose for their sixth at a tier two. Katya, thank you for that extra chunk of support. Kuro Shinchan for their ninth. Chocoholic Mama for their eighth. Joey for their 30th. Hey, what's up, my friend? Thank you for being here. Lil Bean for their two year clever anniversary. We've got so many clever anniversaries today. Lil Bean, thank you for two flipping years of support. You get the blue cakes as well. Thank you for that. I appreciate you. Here's to 28 uh, quadrillion more. And O for their third, Venom for their fifth, uh, Cypher of Tear for their ninth, Always Lively for their 17th, Chris Marie for their fourth, Green Ranger Tori for their fifth, we got uh, Tim Teus for their fifth, Babbers for their three-year Cleververversary. 
so many tonight what were we doing um thank you so much babbers for three flipping years of support here's the 38 quintillion more um i greatly appreciate you wow three flipping years um bibby m for their second t birdie for their 43rd and then squiddy gal for their second ah y'all this was wild what a wonderful fun evening um I greatly appreciate you let's see here who amongst my homies are streaming this evening let's see here we have got hey we have got uh oh yeah shovel's doing an extra long uh streamathon uh subathon streamathon streamathon i think shovel's going all weekend so let's let's send some support to shovel even if you got to run right away it's always nice to send a big old raid on over um so thank you so much y'all this will be our raid call and again i will be back tomorrow 12 30 p.m my time let's see here um sending support for stream uh on raid um all right this will be our our raid call here uh we're gonna oops one second oh, oopsie doopsie one second here oh, there we go this will be our raid call. We're going to copy and paste this as our raid call. So we're going to send that on over to Shovel. I, I forgot about that until I saw like the uptime was seven and a half hours. I'm like, good God. All right, Clever Coop. Thank you so much for joining this evening slash this day. Um, as I always say, whether you tip, you subscribe, you throw bits my way, or you just support me by watching with your eyeballs. I so, so, so appreciate you. I love this community and I could not and would not want to do this without you. Thank you so much. And it's I'm also going to be here all weekend. Just not all weekend, but every day this weekend. So until next time, Clever, Clever Coop, you are dismissed. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. 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 B